There are some very difficult jobs in the sports world, whether you are a player, coach, staff, or front office. Consistent success can make you a legend and get you a ton of money, while consistent failure can make you a pariah and absolutely tarnish your reputation and legacy. It's a pressure everybody in the sports world has to go through, and it can be painful. They have tough lives and high expectations to live up to. But what if I told you there's another job in sports where people have zero tolerance for any kind of error and can be hated by fans even more than the players and coaches? They're the people in black and white that make the decisions that can cause the job of a player and coach, the official, umpire, judge, or just referee. Almost every sport in existence requires some sort of figure of judgment in order to maintain rules and fairness, which of course is needed to make the game playable and fun. But nobody likes an authority figure. You would think referees would get some appreciation for making the game fair, but when there's a side to cheer on, that appreciation only comes when it favors one side. And when it doesn't favor your side, things can get ugly very quickly. When you take on the role of the referee, you get into a troubling career where even when you do your job right, you are still seen as evil. It's simply a brutal life. Let's start with actually how you become a referee. To become a collegiate or professional official, you actually need to go through quite the process since there aren't that many spaces needed to be filled in pro sports. In order to gain sufficient experience, you probably need to start out on a lower level like youth or high school sports. Even at this step, it can be hard for referees. Since these may be entry level jobs, some officials may lack some knowledge or maybe just won't care enough to make the right calls, which can be so frustrating to players, coaches, and parents. Even at such a low level like 10-year-old baseball, there is still no room for error as officials will still get berated for making bad calls. So when referees attain a good amount of experience in their sport, there's usually some developmental camps, academies, or training they'll have to go through in order to be deemed professional. Unfortunately, these development camps can take up to years to complete as you would have to go through even more training and officiate at a step below the pros like the NBA G League or the MLB minor league. Some programs take at least eight years to be a pro official, which is more than how long it takes to get a medical degree. The hard truth for prospecting officials is that it is not likely for officials to make the pros. Only a few do it, just like pro athletes and coaches. And even if you do make it to the professional level to officiate, life gets only harder for you on the big stage. Making calls and enforcing rules is vital for an official to do during games, as it balances how the game is played, however, not everybody's going to praise you for your calls. Sometimes you will make controversial, close, or even wrong calls, which is even more frustrating for players, coaches, and fans. So one key quality referees must have is thick skin. Referees are well aware people are going to argue and yell at them from time to time, but they push to defend what they call or don't call. But when do players, coaches, and fans actually start arguing with them? Each sport has a certain amount of discretion that the referees are allowed to make the calls they feel is right. In baseball, balls and strikes are judged by the umpire behind home plate, and no one can argue what they called, giving refs quite a bit of power. In the NBA, referees are given the right to call or not to call, any foul they see on the court, which also gives them quite a bit of power. This discretion is seen in many other sports like soccer, hockey, volleyball, and others. But what about sports like American football? In the NFL, officials are given the power to make calls that cannot be overturned, like most on-field penalties. But there are a lot of calls that can be challenged and overturned, giving some more power back to the teams. This may be why NFL referees don't get as berated as much as others. Challenges do take place in other major sports as well, like baseball and more recently basketball. But still, we seem to see the most dissenting against officials in baseball and basketball. Baseball is quite well known to be the bump chest with the umpire sport, which is pretty much a tradition now. 
and you can see tons of highlights of players and coaches going crazy on umpires. But why? Like I said before, umpires have discretion when it comes to balls and strikes, check swings, box, infield flies, and foul tips, which can't be reviewed. So when an umpire makes a call just outside of the strike zone to strike a guy out, players go insane either on the inside or outside. Before challenges, umpires would have to make every call with no review, meaning even more bad calls like when umpire Jim Joyce ruined Armando Galarraga's perfect game at the very last play of the game. Sometimes you can't really blame the umpire for making that call due to the umpire having to make calls that are millimeters apart, which no human can barely do. But also sometimes, there are just some terrible calls. Baseball teams and fans have pretty much identified which umpires make the worst calls, like Angel Hernandez, Joe West, and C.B. Buckner. When you watch a baseball game now, technology allows us to actually see what the strike zone looks like and where the pitches are in the zone. This just makes people even more angry if the umpire misses a call. Arguing with the umpires became so frequent that the MLB soon stated that if balls and strikes are argued, players and or coaches can be ejected immediately. This can be even more frustrating for teams with more power given to umpires to eject players at any time. Ejections in the MLB are sometimes deserving and sometimes not deserving. Some players can get ejected just for looking at the umpire funny or saying one word. And some players maybe deserve to get thrown out like how Brett Lowry once threw his helmet at an umpire after a couple missed calls. Deserving or not, ejections are quite frequent in the MLB with cameras and technology making the umpires look even worse. Many people are calling for the MLB to implement robot umpires to call balls and strikes, which some have argued takes the human aspect of the human's discretion out of the game. Watching players and coaches stick it to the umpire is pretty fun to watch, but the absolute perfection umpires have to manage during baseball games is quite ridiculous. But sooner or later, we might just see a major sport with no human umpires in the game. That's pretty much how people feel about umpires in baseball. Simply a rough life. Basketball really doesn't differ that much. Referees do have the power to make a foul call whenever they deem it necessary, but coaches can now use a challenge to overturn a call. However, teams are only given one challenge for the whole game and can't be won back, meaning the referees once again have the leeway to make calls. Basketball might be the most frustrating sport for players dealing with referees. In college basketball, five fouls will get you kicked from the game, and six fouls in the NBA. So when a referee makes a call on you, you're one step closer to not even playing. Fouls in the NBA are pretty hard to call as the game runs so quick and it kind of depends on how hard a foul may be. Some refs can call a foul just for putting a hand on another player, and some refs don't call a foul until it's blatantly obvious. This leaves a lot of room for teams and fans to call out the refs for making a foul call, which they see as not a foul or a no call that should have been a foul. Basketball refs also have another power that might be the most irritating call in sports, the technical foul. A technical can be called at any time if a ref thinks a player is being unsportsmanlike, like arguing too much with the refs, taunting, or fighting players. If a player gets two technicals, they're ejected from the game. Technicals can be necessary, but that power can be abused, like when Joey Crawford ejected Tim Duncan for simply laughing with his teammates on the bench. Or when Rashid Wallace was ejected for staring down a referee. Again, these technicals can be necessary like when players actually become hostile, but the subjectivity is just too great for players to deem it as a fair call. But that's just the job of referees in the NBA. They are going to make calls some people won't like, and the refs will get pushback from it. If there's one sport where referees are hated, basketball just might be the way to go. Another quality referees must honor is the value of impartiality. Referees must not show any bias towards a team in order to maintain the fairness of the game. However, some referees have not honored this quality. There's always the speculation that referees are biased because they made the wrong calls on your team or a league-wide conspiracy that the league fixes the game to benefit a team or to make the game more engaging to fans. Like how people think referees are biased towards Tom Brady. These speculations may be far-fetched, but I don't blame teams and fans sometimes. 
there are some calls that are just so obvious that it has to be some sort of bias. Trust issues against referees are huge in sports, thinking of how much power they have and what they can get away with. One of the most famous stories of a referee actually rigging a game is the NBA referee named Tim Donaghy. Like I said before, basketball is a very frustrating game for players as officiating is so subjective, meaning it's pretty easy to get away with. Donaghy was quite the respected and experienced basketball referee in the 2000s, but when the FBI investigated him for allegations that was calling games in favor of his gambling with other bettors, his career was immediately done. Donaghy pleaded guilty to fraud and was sentenced to 15 months in prison. This story was quite unsettling not only for NBA teams and fans, but in all sports as well. If biased games are so easy to get away with, how many other officials are cheating the game? This NBA scandal was only one of many other scandals in sports, as they each plummeted the trust in officials, making their job even harder to manage and maintain. Throughout this video, we have witnessed the built-up rage and frustration with officials, but what happens when teams or fans actually let loose with that emotion? Unfortunately, but not surprisingly, we have seen that before many times in sports. Hostility to referees is the most dangerous thing refs have to worry about when they work. Most officials can deal with the simple ref you suck or other expletives, but when physicality rolls in, danger and harm comes in as well. Just a couple months ago, there was a viral video of a high school football player charging a referee and absolutely trucking him to the ground. This kid was actually arrested for that. But that truck is only the tip of the iceberg. In 2001, during an NFL game between Jacksonville and Cleveland, the referees might have messed up a little too much. This game was vital for Cleveland to win, as a loss would kill their playoff chances. So when the Browns were driving late in the fourth quarter, a completion was made, but the referee bobbled the ball, which questioned whether he caught it or not. But the Browns kept moving and completed two more plays until the refs decided to review that catch. Normally, you can't review or challenge a play after the next play occurs, so this was quite irregular. The head referee assured the booth called to review the play before the next play, but clearly the game was moving on before the refs did anything. After review, the ruling on the field was overturned, giving the Jaguars the ball and killing the Browns' chances of winning. The Cleveland fans were confused and absolutely irate. They began throwing glass bottles on the field, which can be very dangerous. The throwing of objects on the field became so much that the referees called the game over. As the refs ran back to their lockers, fans continued to throw bottles and other objects right at the referees some of which were in very close range. It was a terrible sight to see, as referees have gotten injured before from fans throwing objects on the field. Across all sports, referees can be subject to verbal abuse, physical violence, and even death threats. I think it can be part of the game to argue with refs sometimes to keep them in check or to remind them that they did something wrong, but when a person's life is threatened, that's when it is taken way too far. Unfortunately, that's the life some referees have to expect when they take the job, which just makes their job even more brutal. If you're a sports fan, there is a 100% chance that you have disagreed with the referees at least once. Referees really are an annoying figure to have to put up with. They make bad calls, unfavorable calls, and calls that can affect the legacy of players, coaches, and franchises as a whole. You want to hate them, but I think it's important to remember they are merely human. It is impossible for referees to make every single call right, especially when calls are very subjective. It's hard for them when no one really cares for you unless you make a favorable call for them. Like I mentioned in my kickers video previously, people don't care if you make the right calls, but they do care a ton if you do the wrong thing. Officials are expected to make the perfect call every time. When I was playing sports growing up, one lesson I had to learn is that you cannot control the referees. It was frustrating watching them make stupid calls, but most of them are really trying their best. There are surely bad refs out there like Donaghy, but most are here for the sake of fairness and competition in the game. Referees are truly annoying, 
but they are absolutely essential to the life of sports. So if you want to be a referee, just know it may not be as easy as it seems.